Halfway down the stairs is the stair where I sit. There isn't any other stair quite like it. I'm not at the bottom, I'm not at the top. So this is the stair where I always stop. Halfway up the stairs isn't up and isn't down. It isn't in the nursery, it isn't in the town. And all sorts of funny thoughts run round my head. It isn't really anywhere. It's somewhere else instead. It isn't really anywhere. It's somewhere else instead. Now, that was a song written by A. A. Milne many, many years ago. It was called Halfway Down. How long ago? Well, it's older than I am. How old am I? Well, that's the sort of question that fathers always avoid answering. I can't think why. I'll tell you if you promise not to tell anybody. Come here and I'll whisper. Oh, you think I look it? I see. Thank you very much. Now, would you like me to read you one of his poems? You would? Well, shall I read you Disobedience? No, no, there's no special reason for my choosing this one. Of course you're not dis... Well, hardly ever. You'd rather I didn't read it anyway. It's a pity, because I think you'd like it. Well, never mind. Here's politeness. If people ask me, I always tell them, quite well, thank you, I'm very glad to say, if people ask me, I always answer, quite well, thank you, how are you today? I always answer, I always tell them, if they ask me politely. But sometimes I wish that they wouldn't. Oh, you like that? Well, here's another. Christopher Robin goes hoppity, 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 hop. Whenever I tell him politely to stop it, he says he can't possibly stop. If he stopped hopping, he couldn't go anywhere. Poor little Christopher couldn't go anywhere. That's why he always goes hoppity, 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 hop. That was called hoppity. The king asked the queen, and the queen asked the dairymaid, Could we have some butter for the royal slice of bread? The queen asked the dairymaid, the dairymaid said, Certainly, I'll go and tell the cow now before she goes to bed. The dairymaid, she curtsied and went and told the orderly, Don't forget the butter for the royal slice of bread. The orderly said sleepily, Oh, you'd better tell His Majesty that many people nowadays like marmalade instead. The dairymaid said fancy and went to Her Majesty. She curtsied to the Queen and she turned a little red. Excuse me, Your Majesty, for taking of the liberty, but marmalade is tasty if it's very thickly spread. The Queen said, oh, and went to His Majesty. Talking of the butter for the royal slice of bread, many people think that marmalade is nicer. Would you like to try a little marmalade instead? The king said, bother. And then he said, oh, dearie me. The king sobbed, oh, dearie me, and went back to bed. Nobody, he whimpered, could call me a fussy man. I only want a little bit of butter for my bread. The queen said, there, there, and went to the dairymaid. The dairymaid said, there, there, and went to the shed. The cow said, mmm, there, there. I didn't really mean it. Here's milk for his porringer and butter for his bread. The queen took the butter and brought it to his majesty. The king said, butter, eh, and bounced out of bed. Nobody, he said, as he kissed her tenderly. Nobody, he said, as he slid down the banisters. Nobody, my darling, could call me a fussy man. But I do like a little bit of butter for my bread. They're changing guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. Alice is marrying one of the guard. A soldier's life is terrible hard, says Alice. They're changing guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. We saw a guard in a sentry box. One of the sergeants looks out at their socks. Get a move with yourselves, you sloppy looking things, you! Oh, says Alice. They're changing guard at Buckingham Palace. 
Christopher Robin went down with Alice. We looked for the Queen, but she never came. Well, God take care of her all the same. Says Alice. They're changing guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. They've great big parties inside the grounds. I wouldn't be Queen for a hundred pounds. Says Alice. The changing guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. A face looked out, but it wasn't the Queen. She's much too busy assigning things. Says Alice. The changing guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. Do you think the Queen knows all about me? Sure to, dear, but it's time for tea. Says Alice. Now here's a poem you'll like. James James Morrison Morrison Weatherby George Dupree took great care of his mother, though he was only three. James James said to his mother, Mother, he said, said he, you must never go down to the end of the town if you don't go down with me. James James Morrison's mother put on a golden gown. James James Morrison's mother drove to the end of the town. James James Morrison's mother said to herself, said she, I can get right down to the end of the town and be back in time for tea. King John put up a notice, lost or stolen or strayed. James James Morrison's mother seems to have been mislaid. Last seen wandering vaguely, quite of her own accord. She tried to get down to the end of the town. Forty shillings reward. James James Morrison Morrison, commonly known as Jim, told his other relations not to go blaming him. James James said to his mother, Mother, he said, said he, you must never go down to the end of the town without consulting me. James James Morrison's mother hasn't been heard of since. King John said he was sorry, so did the Queen and Prince. King John, somebody told me, said to a man he knew, if people go down to the end of the town, well, what can anyone do? James James Morrison Morrison Weatherby George Dupree took great care of his mother, though he was only three. James James said to his mother, Mother, he said, said he, you must never go down to the end of the town if you don't go down with me. Did you like that? You like that best? Well, that was disobedience. You see, I fooled you, didn't I? You'd like me to read it again? I don't think I can do that. Shall we tell them a little bit about you? Your name is David Redverse Tomlins. You're two and a half, you've enormous blue eyes and fair hair, and I should think you're very much like Christopher Robin, and he was a splendid boy. Your favorite word is no. Sometimes you say no when you mean yes. And your new friend is Jonathan Joe. Jonathan Joe has a mouth like an O and a wheelbarrow full of surprises. If you ask for a bat or for something like that, he's got it, whatever the size is. If you're wanting a ball, it's no trouble at all. Why, the more that you ask for, the merrier. Like a hoop and a top and a watch that won't stop and some sweets and an Aberdeen terrier. Jonathan Joe has a mouth like an O. But this is what makes him so funny. If you give him a smile, only once in a while, then he never expects any money. You should be going to sleep. One more. I think you'd like happiness. John had great big waterproof boots on. John had a great big waterproof hat. John had a great big waterproof Macintosh. And that, said John, is that. Little boy kneels at the foot of the bed, droops on the little hand's little gold head. Hush, hush, whisper who dares. Christopher Robin is saying his prayers. God bless Mummy, I know that's right. Wasn't it fun in the bath tonight? The cold so cold and the hot so hot. Oh, God bless Daddy, I quite forgot. If I open my fingers a little bit more, I can see Nanny's dressing gown on the door. It's a beautiful blue, but it hasn't a hood. Oh, God bless Nanny and make her good. Mine has a hood and I lie in bed and pull the hood right over my head and I shut my eyes and I curl up small. And no 
nobody knows that I'm there at all. Oh, thank you, God, for a lovely day. And what was the other I had to say? I said, bless Daddy, so what could it be? Oh, now I remember it, God bless me. Little boy kneels at the foot of the bed, droops on the little hand's little gold head. Hush, hush, whisper who dares. Christopher Robin is saying his prayer.